So good afternoon, uh, dear minister, dear participants, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I wish uh, I could be uh, with you, uh, but thank you very much for providing me with the opportunity to share with you some thoughts about the important and very timely and relevant subject that you're going to discuss uh, and cover during um, your uh, conference uh, today. Um, our agri-food sector at EU level and in every member state and every region of the EU uh, uh, has delivered, uh, has been delivering food uh, security to all our, our EU citizens over the last decades and we can be uh, proud uh, of it. Uh, it has shown remarkable resilience over the last couple of years, in particular in a context where we've seen uh, um, crisis and significant event like the COVID-19 crisis, as well as the recent aggression against um, Ukraine, which has had an impact uh, on our uh, food sector. Yet, it is clear that uh, to say, it is of, of course important to say that um, we can't be complacent and we can see um, that uh, we still have to uh, work uh, together and face many challenges, in particular when we are looking, looking at the impact of the climate change on our agricultural sector. And I know that you, in Greece, you've been very much affected by extreme weather events and that farmers can see um, concretely the impact uh, of this climate change uh, in their daily uh, activities, the biodiversity loss, but also uh, the whole debate about how can we make sure that we have a more resilient and sustainable uh, farming system. So we need here uh, to work together and to see how we can uh, deliver, still deliver food security Food, including food availability, which is at stake at the moment in the Europe European Union, uh, while of course making sure that uh, we uh, continue to have a profitable activity for our farmers and protect better our natural resources, uh, our climate, and adapt uh, to uh, climate change. And this is the whole debate that we have at EU level, at national level, and everywhere in Europe, which is sometimes very lively, even divisive and polarized, and for which I would say uh, there are two important elements on which um, I, we would like uh, to work with you and to work together with all the key stakeholders of the food chain. First of all, we need to make sure that we remain um, science-based, evidence-based, and that the breadth of knowledge and expertise uh, that you are producing it in universities, in research centers, in technical centers, are made available to our farmers and to our farming community so that they can deliver better in terms of sustainability and resilience. Second, I would say what is important is that we continue to or we do a better job when it comes to working together. And when I say working together, it's working with all stakeholders at all levels. Farmers in isolation will not be able to deliver the transition. We will need to work with the food industry, with retailers, with consumers, with non-environmental organizations, with academics. And this is what we uh, have decided to do uh, at the European Commission at EU level, and of course we will need of course, to have that also at all levels. President von der Leyen has launched last week a strategic dialogue on the future of EU farming and EU food systems, where representatives from the food chain will work together during the, last, the next sorry, six months and see whether they can deliver together a shared vision, principle, uh, approach of how the transition uh, could be made. I guess we can safely say that most of us think, the majority of us think, that we should uh, go for a more sustainable and resilient farming and food system. The question is how to do it, at what pace? 
how can we support our farmers? And here I'm not only talking about providing funding, but also how can we make sure that they access to the knowledge that is available, that they share best practices to deliver this transition. So this is what the dialogue is about. We expect to have a report at the end uh, of August. And uh, of course, we will uh, seek views and input from other stakeholders, all stakeholders, in the coming weeks so that they can contribute to the reflection of uh, this core group of stakeholders. I'll be very interested to get a report um, or an exchange uh, with you after your conference so that we can also input uh, our process at EU level with contribution from national and regional level and in particular knowing uh, the knowledge uh, and um, the science that you are delivering in Greece will be important for us to take into account in our uh, EU strategic dialogue. I wish you a very productive and successful event and I look forward to reading the outcome of your work. Thank you very much.